Hello and welcome to another one of my videos. Now today I thought it would be nice to return back to Norway and have a look at another one of their Arctic field rations and this particular one is beef stew with broccoli. So let's get this on a table and see what this pack contains. So I now have here on the table the Norwegian Arctic field ration. Now this particular one is nice and fresh as a best before date of 2020. And it is beef stew with broccoli. Now a nice touch about these Norwegian rations is they do have a resealable strip which you can peel off and reseal. Um, but I'm not going to use that now. And it's a nice sturdy pack and the corner is peelable. So, what do we have in the beef stew with broccoli ration? Okay, nice looking set of contents there. Just move these to one side while we have a look what they are. So right off the very top is a nice impressive freeze-dried mains. Um, the real field meal. And these are freeze dried just like the MCWs, US MCW. So let's put that to one side. We also have, um, not sure what that is with a translate. So I'm not sure if it's jam or pate. I think it's a pate, but we'll do a translation on that. There is a spicy sauce. A cranberry protein bar, a brownie energy bar, a wet nap, a freeze dried Colombian coffee. We have a plastic spoon. Some gum, there is some Bridgeford and I believe it's whole wheat bread, that's just moved everything out of the shop there. We have a energy taste of peach drink. and a spare Ziploc bag. So, that is the contents of the Norwegian Arctic Field Ration Beef Stew with Broccoli. So let's get these out on a tray and see what they look and taste like. So, as you can see, we now have everything laid out on a tray. And I think because this is a freeze dried and needs a little bit of preparation, we'll go with making the main meal first. Now this is the beef stew with broccoli. It has a tear strip just to open. So we'll see if that works. Very nice. And that's giving me some trouble. Quite a lot of trouble. That is not going to open. So, bear with me. I shall come back in a little while when I've got this open. So, after a little fighting and um, cursing, we managed to get this open. And it does have a fill line marked on the side. Just fill with hot water. And then we need to stir it and leave for about eight minutes so let's get some water in there now I'll try not to overfill because as you know you can't get the water back out we will need their spoon I 
and it's just a simple plastic spoon. Feels of reasonable quality, but not as thick as the US MRE. And we'll give that a stir, letting the water get to the bottom. Okay, try and avoid any sort of dry bits by letting that water get all the way down. And we'll seal that and let it do its thing for eight minutes. So, nice gusseted pouch so it sits nicely. I think what we'll do is we'll then go with the other drinks while we wait for that. So this is the Taste of Peach Energy Drink. It does give you a fill line, but we'll just make it in the packet. So it in the glass there. Very strong packaging, very strong packaging on all of these. Obviously designed to withstand, withstand a little bit of rough treatment. So again, quite a coarse looking granules this time. And because I've still got gravy on the other spoon, I'm just going to make use of a Russian spoon just to stir this. Very granular, very coarse. Here's the spoon. And we do have a black coffee. No sugar, no sweetness in this pack. So let's go straight with black coffee. Just a regular medium looking roast coarse powder and about half a cup I think seems to work with these ration coffees the best they don't tend to be the strongest coffees out there there's my spoon again so what is this I did a translation and it did come back as a pate so Nice picture of a child on there. Why is a child on a pate? I do not know. But it is a nice looking pate to one side. Now there is some wholemeal bread. It is made by Bridgeford, but it's obviously written in Norwegian. And it is just a, a wholemeal brown bread. That's nice to see. Usually it's a white flour. This is a wholemeal flour. Nice, nice to see. A little bit of fibre there. Um, we might as well continue around. Have a look at the cranberry protein bar. Nice and sticky. Stick into the wrapper. I think I'll leave that in the wrapper. It's not coming out very easily, so I'll just leave that there. And we'll have a look at the brownie energy bar. Again, very tricky to get out the packet. It wants to stick, but we'll just leave that there for a moment. So while we just wait a few more minutes for the, the main meal to rehydrate we'll have a look at the coffee and this is powder milk, black coffee, no sugar or whitener mm. it's not bitter um, not a lot of flavour there I've had these powder milk before to be honest, if you live in the UK, they taste like a, a, a store-brought, store-brand type of coffee. Not the best, but certainly not the worst either. It is an instant coffee drink. Now, look at the peach-flavoured energy drink. 
Mm. Now that is nice. Delicate artificial peach flavour, but nicely done. Not overly sweet. Nice, refreshing, light peach flavour. Mm. That is a nice, nice peach drink there. And I think I shall just give this a little stir, see how we're coming on. Okay. It's looking looking like it's rehydrating nicely. Not too much water gone in there. Okay. I'll just give that spoon a quick rinse. So I can bring it back into play. Seal again. So I think we'll have a look at this snack bread and pate. So it's a wholemeal bread, wholemeal slice, which is nice. It's nice and light. Shelf stable bread. Mm. It's wholemeal. Also tastes malty, and taste the malt. Very nice, very flavoursome. We'll have a look at some of this pate. Nice and smooth, nice pink consistency. Mm. A liver pate, very creamy, very smooth, subtle hint of liver. Try some on this wholemeal bread. Actually, it's quite a strong flavour of liver. It comes through as you eat it. Mm. Nice and creamy. Quite a strong liver flavour which develops as you chew. But very creamy, very rich. Um, goes very well with the brown bread. If you like liver pâtés, I think you'd like that one. Excuse me while I just finish eating that there. I don't like to do the sweets first, but I'll have a look at this brownie energy bar while we wait for the mains. It's dark, crispies, look in there, quite dry. Dry, crispy, actually tastes a little stale when you first bite into there. It's got some chocolate in there, not a quality chocolate. You don't feel that's quality chocolate. Crispies, rice crispies. There's nuts in there. I think they're peanuts. Could be hazelnuts. A good energy boost, packed with chocolate, packed with nuts. Not the best flavoured chocolate, but a decent, it's a decent energy bar. We'll have a look at the cranberry protein bar. Now, this is more sticky, um, a lot more sticky in texture, softer than the other one. Mm. crispier stickier sweeter a lot more sugar a lot sweeter very crisp very nice one of the nicest cranberry bars I've eaten very flavorful very nice very sweet I'll just Clean my palate, and this has had about eight minutes now, as it says on the packet. The beef stew with broccoli. So there is a nice smell coming from there. Large portion, very large, hearty portion. It's sticking to the 
hack a little bit there. Very thick, very strong smelling of meat. I can smell the beef. Um, that might be rice in there. I think that is rice. I was expecting potato, but I think that's actually rice with beef and gravy. Taste. Quite a strong taste of um, a bullion cube, oxo cube. You can taste that sort of uh, gravy flavour there, beef gravy flavour. Mm. The beef is rehydrated nicely, very hot, very stodgy. There is some skews fingers. I think that might be peppers. I'm sure they're not carrot, but there is beef, peppers, rice, um, bullion cube or oxo style cube gravy. Very nice, very filling. With plenty of salt and pepper. Mm. Very nice, enjoyable, filling beef stew. Cannot see the broccoli in there. I'm not quite sure where the broccoli is. It's extremely finely minced if there is broccoli in there. But it's very nice. Very rich, very stodgy, very tasty. I do have a packet of spicy sauce. Personally, I won't actually need that. But I'm going to put a little bit on just because I have it. Just because it's there. I'll bring in the scissors, I think. And I'll just give it a little. I do not want to give this too much. It's a thick sauce. Almost like a ketchup. So it's almost like a ketchup in texture. We'll try some of that spicy sauce. I can smell, smell the chilies in there already. That's a very nice spicy sauce. It's like a ketchup in texture and it just adds a very small background kick. It's not too hot at all and I will actually think I'll add some more of that when I finish this later. Mm. Very pleasant spicy sauce. Back to the peach drink. Very refreshing, very refreshing palate cleanser. And then finally, there is the gum, two pieces of gum, standard looking chewing gum. Mm. Very firm, very brittle, with a strong peppermint flavour. It actually hits your sinuses. It is so strong. Very strong mint. Very peppermint in the back of your throat, in your sinus. Very nice on a cold day, as I should imagine the Norwegian winters become. Mm. So, I'm going to leave it here. Quick recap. Coffee. No whitener. No sugar. So very basic middle of the road, average, store brought style instant coffee. Not the best quality in the world, but not the worst. It is a coffee flavoured hot drink. Peach flavoured energy drink, nice, refreshing, subtle hint of peach, but delicately flavoured, very refreshing palate cleanser, very nice drink. Pate, um, smooth, creamy, nicely pink, um, the liver flavour develops as you eat it. When you first put it in your mouth, you don't think the liver is too strong. But then as you eat more, the liver flavour starts to develop and evolve. Um, the brown bread. Nice to see some brown bread in a ration. Um, you can taste a malty grain in there. Um, very nice. Shelf, stable, background bread for the pato. Mm. The mains.
rice, beef, bouillon or oxo, red pepper, I think that might be a small piece of broccoli, broccoli is difficult to see, but it's a very filling, well flavoured, well balanced, um, hearty meal, mm. and there is certainly plenty of it, plenty of it, I am going to finish this after. The spicy sauce, almost like a ketchup with tang, um, it did actually improve the main meals and I will be putting more of this on as I finish it after. Very pleasant, very enjoyable, not overpowering, doesn't blow your, your mouth off which is just how I like it. A very pleasant sauce to add to the mains. The brownie, chocolate, nuts. Crispies, not the most um, quality of chocolate. You can tell the chocolate isn't quality, but still, it's an enjoyable, uh, crispy, crunchy bar. The cranberry, energy bar, more sticky, um, crispies, a lot more sugar, very sweet, very juicy cranberries, very enjoyable, one of the best tasting cranberry chip bars I've had. And the gum. Quite firm, quite hard, um, a lot of peppermint oil, when you first bite it that peppermint oil goes to your sinuses and you can feel it in the back of your sinuses, a nice gum. So, overall very pleasing, very successful uh, Norwegian ration, so I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for watching, please like, share, subscribe and hit that notification button for future videos coming very soon. So thank you and goodbye.